हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द सम मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ द थर्मोडायनेमिक्स स्टूडेंट दिस दीज प्रॉब्लम्स वाज इन द एग्जाम 2016 15 17 एंड आई विल फर्दर डिस्कस सम मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स रिगार्डिंग द थर्मोडायनेमिक्स इन टूडेज मॉर्निंग वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सम द कांसेप्ट रिगार्डिंग द थर्मोडायनेमिक्स स्टूडेंट फर्स्ट ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम द thermodynamic process this is a very important topic student what is the problem one mole of an ideal monoatomic gas <coughs> one mole of an ideal monoatomic gas undergoes a process described by the equation pv power 3 equal to constant then heat capacity of the gas during the process what is the heat capacity we have given one mole of an ideal gas undergoes this process by the equation pv power 3 equal to constant and we have to calculate the heat capacity of the gas student this question was in the neat 2016 exam the options are 3 by 2 or 5 by 2 or 2 r or r as we know student for a polyatomic gas what is the specific heat specific heat equal to c equal to cv specific heat at constant volume plus r over 1 minus gum and of this is the general result for a polyatomic gas and what is the gamma gamma pv power gamma equal to constant and we have given that pv power 3 equal to constant when we compare this we get the gamma equal to 3 and gas is the monoatomic gas and for monoatomic gas we know cv equal to 3 by 2 r that is 3 are the degrees of freedom for the monoatomic gas therefore specific heat value at constant volume 3 by 2 r when we put these value c v equal to 3 by 2 r and gamma equal to 3 we get that c specific heat total is equal to r so correct option will be fourth option students the next question was in the neat 2017 exam what is this question a carnot engine have efficiency of 1 over 10 as the heat engine is used as a refrigerator that is the engine have efficiency 1 over 10 and this heat engine is used as a refrigerator when we use this as a refrigerator then we have to calculate the coefficient of performance we have to calculate the beta in terms of the heater if work done on the system is 10 joule then what is the amount of energy absorbed from the reserve reservoir at lower temperature that is that is we have to calculate the amount of energy that is absorbed from the reservoir in case of the refrigerator as we know we have to calculate the q2 and coefficient of performance is equal to amount of heat absorbed and the work done on the system which is given 10 joule so student if we know the beta then we can easily find the q2 q2 we have to calculate it w is given 10 joule and we have to find the beta we have given the eta eta means ki efficiency of the heat engine this is the relation between beta and eta coefficient of performance for the refrigerator and efficiency of the heat engine this is very important relation student this question was in the neat 2017 exam it is given 1 over 10 when we solve this we get the beta equal to 9 and when we put here beta 9 into 10 means 90 joule this is the easy question student student always remember that question from the thermodynamics was the easy question is the easy question you can get the full 3 marks full 3 questions from this topic students we can discuss more problem students in this relation pressure and density of a diatomic gas changes adiabatically from p d to p dash d dash p is the pressure which changes from p to p prime and d is the density which changes from d to d dash and this diatomic gas gamma is given 7 over 5 if pressure and density of a diatomic gas changes like this then we have to find the ratio of p dash to p final pressure to initial pressure if ratio of density is given this is again easiest question students pv gamma equal to constant for the adiabatic process we know it therefore p1 b1 power gamma equal to p2 v2 power gamma that is pressure volume product remains always constant this is the initial this is the final case student so we have to find p dash over p that is p2 upon p1 what is its value b1 over v2 ki power gamma as we know density is the mass per unit volume therefore we may write in place of volume the density what is the volume volume equal to mass over density when we put here mass gets cancel out and the formula remain 
B in terms of the density. Density the ratio is given 32. Gamma is given 32 means 7 power 7 over 5. And we know we may write 32 as the 2 raised to power 5. 5 2 raised to power is 32. And 2 raised to power and 7 over 5 power gets multiplied. Therefore, we 5 and 5 gets cancelled. Therefore, we remain with the 2 raised to power 7. 2 raised to power 7 means 128. So, correct option is the 128. That is, if a ratio of density is 32, then the ratio of pressure will be 128. Another important problem we can discuss, students. What is this problem? 1 mole of an ideal gas. 1 mole of an ideal diatomic gas undergoes the transition from A to B. This diagram is given as shown in the figure. And we have to calculate the change in the internal energy of the gas during this transition. We have to find the internal energy change. Student, this is the pressure volume curve indicator diagrams. And here process is cyclic, non-cyclic process. Therefore, what is the work done? We have discussed earlier in the previous video. For a non-cyclic process, the entire work done will be volume of uh, work done under the pressure VV, pressure volume curve up to the volume axis. This is the total work done. Student, we have to calculate this. And as we know, internal energy, internal energy is equal to NCV into delta T. And for a diatomic gas, as we know, CV equal to 5 by 2 R. Therefore, we can write CV equal to 5 by 2 R and N and delta T means change in temperature that is it press temperature changes from T to T dash. According to ideal gas equation PV equal to N naught. Why student we are using this because the graph is between pressure and volume and here this relation is in terms of the temperature N and R. Therefore in place of NRT we may write the P into V. Here in place of NRT we may write PV as I said Therefore, in place of T dash, T dash means the final temperature. B, pressure is PV and volume is VV. And at A, pressure is PA, volume is VA. Therefore, when we use these values, at V, pressure is 2 kilopascal. 2 into 10 raised to power 3 into 6. And at A, pressure is 5 pascal, 5 kilopascal, 5 into 10 raised to power 3 into 4. Volume is 4. When we solve this, we get the 2 into 6, 12, 5 into 4, 20. 12 minus 20 means minus 8. And 5 by 2 into 10 raised to power minus 3. 10 raised to power minus 3 means ki kilo joule. Therefore, minus 20 kilo joule is the correct option. This is the correct option, students. So, students, in this video, we have learned some basic and important problems regarding the thermodynamics. You may practice more such problems so you can get the good score in thermodynamics, student. If you like this video, then share more and more and subscribe my channel thank you very much students in the next video we will discuss some most important problems regarding the oscillations thank you very much students